Hello again. Welcome back to the Juno studio. Charles here with another first look. This week, we've got something a little more complex to show you. The Soma Laboratory, Rumble of Ancient Times. Let's start unravelling it then. The Rumble of Ancient Times, or ROAT, is an 8-bit noise synth and sequencer that tends to lean on the more glitching and noisy side of the spectrum. It's got a really simplistic interface, so let's break it down. There are 32 different parameters for us to adjust using the four control knobs and page buttons. Let's start by looking at the oscillators. ROAT has four primary oscillators, each of which has a range of 20 to 1400 Hz. In addition, there are 16 different waveforms to choose from, which range widely in Tambra. Let's test all this out on just the first oscillator. Each oscillator has an independent LFO that controls the frequency or amplitude of the oscillator. We can control the amount of LFO applied, the rate and the type of waveform used. There are eight different waveforms available that you can apply to either the pitch or the amplitude. There's a universal envelope for all the oscillators. We've been using the switches to control the oscillators so far, but by using these touchpads, we can trigger this envelope effect. All of this is then fed through a low-pass filter with resonance control. Where ROAT gets interesting is when we start combining oscillators. ROAT has a number of different algorithms used for mixing different oscillator signals. Each of these has a huge impact on the sound and gives ROAT its distinct timbre. First, let's get a signal path going using the default algorithm with all four oscillators playing. Let's pick one of three different connection algorithms to start. This describes in what order the signals will be combined. I've picked the second connection algorithm. Now, the fun part. The first three control nodes on this page control in what way the signals are mixed. Whether it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, exclusive, frequency modulation, waveform modulation, or addition with overflow. There are plenty of options to get stuck into. 
Because each of these algorithms relies on the input of each signal, the effect is also changed dynamically by the amount of oscillators playing at any one moment. You can really quickly get some pretty gnarly sounds out of this device. Roat also has a built-in sequencer to let you record in some simple short loops. The recording buffer is one bar long and it can take an external clock source or use an internal clock. Let's activate the sequencer, set ourselves the tempo and switch on the metronome. We can then record in patterns for each of the four oscillators by holding record and tapping their triggers. We can also quickly erase each of the trigger patterns if needed. There's just one more feature I want to show you guys. Roat has some handy functions for randomizing the device to create some wild sounds. First, we have the chaos button. Pressing this will randomize every parameter except the settings on the page currently selected, as well as the attack, release and system settings. Let's demonstrate. We'll go to page 1 so our frequencies aren't affected and trigger the chaos. It's a pretty fun way to discover new sounds. But what if we want something a little more subtle? Roat also has a gradual randomization function. We can control how many different parameters will be affected and how quickly. Let's reset the device and trigger this with the controls on page 7. Sounding pretty strong. Let's jump into some jams. For this first jam, I wanted to test out the sequencer, recording a sequence on the fly, synced with my DAW, and then adjusting the tempo to see how it performed. Each of the oscillator's settings were chosen through the chaos button to create some random patches, and then I adjusted the LFO and pitch to taste. We're running the signal through my Erica Synths plasma drive to add some nice crunch and filtering, as well as mixing a clean Erica Synths black delay with an envelope followed signal.
with small adjustments to the release of the oscillators, alongside pairing with some other effects, you can really transform a simple one-bar sequence into something much bigger. But can Roat do something less aggressive? This synth is definitely focused on creating more aggressive, noisy tones, but I wanted to create something a little more subtle and evolving. I've tuned each of the oscillators to create a somewhat pitchy harmony and using both the trigger pads and the switches, I can gently build up the layers of sound. My Erica synth delay is helping us greatly here to even out the sound. Although Roat's tone is definitely quite bright, getting creative with the oscillators allows you to push the device in any direction you see fit. Alright, time for something a little heavier. Once again, I'm going to be using the sequencer to build up layers of sound, but I'm going to use the onboard filter and resonance to create an acid bass-like tone. For the sub-bass part, I'll be using a switch rather than the trigger pad and sequencer, letting the mixer algorithm create a really gnarly tone as it collides with the other parts. Once again, my plasma drive is beefing up the signal, and my delay is being modulated by the frequency central Little Melody for added harmonic interest. Thanks for watching our first look on the Soma Laboratory Rumble of Ancient Times. For more info and specs, check it out on our website via the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe to stay in the loop and we'll see you next time.